Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Pre Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Asian markets are mostly negative following the US markets. US futures are slightly higher, but uh, nothing great. And Singapore Nifty, uh, that is GIF Nifty, uh, is indicating about uh, 40 45 points lower opening. It was indicating about 70 80 point lower on Friday night, but now it's slightly improved as your futures are improving slightly. And what happened on Friday? It was a quadruple witching day. So, usually, quadruple witching day, you know, it goes in favor of the beers. Markets tend to be very, very volatile. And we need to see if there is a follow on selling today in US markets. So otherwise, the Friday's uh, action, so we can just write it off. And this time, the quadruple witching day, uh, it came just before the Fed meeting. So that also triggered some kind of a uh, mini panic selling, we can say. Otherwise, there was no particular news. There was no reason for such a major fall. So especially Nasdaq 100 fell more than 400 points from intraday high to low. Um, that seems to be a bit overreaction. Anyway, so we have to consider this fall as related to uh, quadruple witching day. So if there is a selling in US today, uh, then there is a need to worry. Otherwise, the markets are likely to consolidate with a slightly positive bias for one or two days. And then the Fed meeting is over. Then the rally may resume. So you may remember on a two year perspective, US markets have given zero return. That means sometimes in August, September 2021 and now it, the prices are the same. In fact, even in India, 2021 October, Nifty high was 18,600. From 18,600, you know, uh, the rally was not really very big. If you consider the fixed deposit return of 15% for the last two years, so the stock market returns are not really that great, despite we are moving so much higher. And we moved uh, from 16,800 to uh, 20,000 in just last three or four months. So longer term perspective, uh, U.S. has a potential to move higher and so the markets are waiting for Fed meeting and once Fed meeting is over, the markets temporarily will be reacting to the comment by the Fed chairman. So Fed chairman is generally expected to comment hawkishly. So going forward, the last one, one and a half years, the U.S. markets increase the interest rate by 11 times. So going forward, so those interest rates may taper out and may start falling also. So once the interest rates start falling, so that is when the US markets will rally. That is a very, very long term perspective, maybe one year perspective. So not a short term one. Somehow I feel that, you know, the markets, uh, they are trading at the lower end of the range in US. So going forward, the things can go higher. So the same thing here also, uh, no matter what happens, uh, money keeps on coming to mutual funds, retail people money. So that can propel the markets higher. So gift nifty indicating about a 40, 50 point gap down. And that 40, 50 point is nothing compared to uh, nearly 1000 point increase in the last 10 days. Then we don't know what is going to happen as soon as the market opens. So number one, a uh, gift nifty has not been a true indication for the last one week and number two this gap down is not happening anything because of indian markets in fact only on friday fas have turned uh, huge buyers this has only to do with the global queues because the us markets fell on friday so as i said if the traders are smart they will understand that uh, the Friday's fall was due to quadruple witching day. So the, our markets may not fall much. So after opening you know, 40, 50 point gap down, 
markets may consolidate anyway consolidation is good for our markets so every day market moving higher by 100 point is uh, not really very good special session of parliament is also uh, starting today so people will keenly watch you know the developments in the parliament especially there are a lot of uh, uh, controversies going on and you know the parliament election is coming very very near so five state elections are uh, almost there you know parliament session uh, the people will like to see if there is any important developments so that is going to happen for about one week so this one week markets will be jittery so the markets will have some clarity only from next week but by the time you know so this monthly expiry you know uh, there will be only four days left option sellers are basically hoping on the time value so as i said earlier our markets may correct uh, significantly probably only after bank nifty hit all time high so nifty hit all time high mid cap small cap hit all time high but bank nifty is it to hit all time high so there is another 100 point but however so if there is some good news about hdfc bank so if hdfc banks move slightly higher so then things can happen so usually our markets you know uh, top out around deepavali and so there is one more quarter results will be out before that so sometimes in the second week of october it stocks may start coming out with results uh, the expectation is not big among the it stocks so therefore it my stocks may do well over the period of next one or two months because they are all like uh, oversold for especially tcs and infosys other mid cap it stocks are doing well but tcs and infosys uh, grossly underperforming so when these two stocks catch up so that may add another 100 or 200 point to nifty so the nifty will continue its momentum so for today you just keep watching uh, reliance indices and uh, why reliance indices but the crude is uh, going to 10 month high now so higher crude price is actually good for reliance indices but it's not good for india you have to watch reliance indices because of the high crude price and then hdfc bank so because of that fit series jigging and this and that you know so there may be more inflow into this particular stock so because these two stocks has 25 percent weightage you know so it can make or break the markets so otherwise so it's going to be a consolidation with the negative bias today uh, but if for one other the reason markets closest positive today then you know it's going to be a non-stop i would say it's a mad rally so for no reason markets are going higher every day for no reason so it will be good if the markets consolidate so as i said you know the markets consolidate between 20000 and 20500 for the next few trading session so that is good for uh, markets so vertical rally is always not good so today let us hope market will be the spot nifty uh, taking support around 20100 so the general expectation is that uh, nifty might trade 20100 to 20300 and today mid cap nifty expiry also fin nifty expiry also so therefore markets will be uh, focusing more on uh, financial stocks today so hope you enjoyed listening to this audio Thank you for listening.